or purpose. I assume referring to how they all were going to kill themselves and so they held this killing game to give themselves a reason to live, which is my working theory. The morning after Gonta was declared the blackened, we gathered in the dying hall, as always. There's no Kirumi and there's no Miu, so what the fuck is even the point of being here? Holy shit, is it really only six? Seven with Kokichi. God damn. I think Kaito is gonna be the next victim. Granted, he should have been dead like three chapters ago. But I do think he will be. I would say something like I feel like Kokichi would trick somebody else into killing Kaito so that Kokichi gets off scot free again. But. I feel like they wouldn't do that twice in a row because that's basically what happened with Nagito and Chaki. As always? No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Mew. I think Mew has become my second favorite. Maybe even give Kirumi a run for her money. I'm not committing to that. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright, trying to cheer all of us up. Kaito? Yep. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know? Please call him out on not being a death flag. Because I'm Kaito Momota, luminary and stars. Are you really okay? I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. I'm a hundred percent better now. But there's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. That feels like one of those weak points. There's no way that you could get better. Break. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little. That's all. Are you sure you are not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Well, if that's the key, was calling that out. They usually do that with things that aren't the case. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worried too much. But maybe it is that since he wrote it off. Just because you all love me and can't help yourself. Of course we'd be worried. Bloody. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should've told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. <laughs> okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? 
now that that's out of the way, let's eat. Yeah, come on guys, let's all eat. Kaito spoke cheerily and then left to go get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong with what I saw yesterday? How can I act like nothing's wrong? Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. Konto wouldn't tell us what it was because it would give us so much despair, we'd want to die. If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of food. I don't know. Honestly though, for an ending group, even assuming Kaito dies and Kokichi lives, or oh, let's say Maki dies, this is not an... Uh, if Maki dies, it's pretty bad. But like, robots okay, mages okay, cosplayers okay, they're average, but they're not bad. Like, I think they're better than the DR Walk group of survivors. On the whole, Kyoko was fine. And Asahina was lovely. But I did not care for Byakuya, Toko. Toko was better than Ultra Despair Girls. <sighs> Poor Akure. Can he just die already? SDR2 is actually good at Toto, except for Sova. And Sonia lived that too. Seems like there is one peach that slips through every time. But I don't think Maki is gonna be that peach. We can't figure that out by, just by thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. But we can't simply not think about. Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up, Smonkuma. But making us worry about is what Malakuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You're such an optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me too? She messed up the word, but she saved it. Uh... I think you mean optimist. Which is like that catchphrase I like so much. As the optimist optometrist, I'll always help you see the bright side. But I'm not an optometrist. So if any of you guys are thinking of going into optometry and starting your own business, please feel free to use that. Because I think the world would be better off with it. Either way, that's something to think about once we get outside. So focus on that for now. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Mm. All right, I'm going to just speak for Shuichi here real quick. As a detective, my thoughts are that you guys do a lot of assuming that I would know something just because I'm a detective when I haven't been given any information that you guys don't already have. And after five chapters of this bullshit, you should reason out that I'm not capable of just coming up with theories from thin air, psych attacks, and hangman's gambit accepted. But then again, even those are not an exception because we had plenty of evidence for those that we should have been able to do them without stupid mini games. So basically, please do not engage in detective phobia, Kibo by assuming that I will automatically just have all the answers by merit of my profession. I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. Oh, well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. <sighs> Since the incident yesterday, Kaito won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry. But I had no choice had no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gunta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gunta had to be sacrificed. And there was nothing I could do. No. Um... 
glad we're talking about how to escape, but where did he go? Kokichi. Uh, uh the instant Kaito spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. Uh. I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Mm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Boom! Good. Although, I would be thinking, it'd be fun to have a murder where, like, we find out the body has actually been gone forever. Not forever, but like several days. And it's just being discovered super late to clarify, to muddy the time of death. Like, that's something I'm waiting for from the series. So if we say that he's completely vanished, I don't know. We'll see him for the next few days. Maybe that could be it. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. But I really don't think Kokichi's gonna die. Um... He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Mama's we can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No. Not just a little. Because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. And yet there's a thought like, yeah, his attitude is beyond fucked up. And he should not be hurting so many people like that. But he's capable of doing the one thing that I suspect everyone in this game set out to want to do, which is have a reason to keep living. Even if that reason is just for his own amusement, he has that. He's found that. And everyone else hasn't, otherwise they wouldn't need to participate in this game. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <sighs> Ironic. The rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Monkey roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monkuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Huh? Yeah. His Maki roll, a nickname for Maki. That's a good nickname. So I was talking about this with a friend, Hi Cross. Um But the Maki roll thing we found is actually Haramaki from Harakawa, which is our last name. It, maki roll is a thing because Maki means roll, like a sushi roll, that kind of thing. So in Japanese, Harumaki, Haru is spring, it would be spring roll, like an egg roll. So basically Kaito is actually calling her spring roll. <laughs> it makes me want to take a bite right out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki roll? Sama. Sorry, I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. <clears throat> hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. Is she gonna snap and kill Kokichi preemptively? Cause she's pretty hung up on this for the first time. I guess this is the first time she's had any development or relevance all game. I bet even now, he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. Yep. No, actually, we're safe right now. What? Why? Uh, we're safe until we discover the new areas, probably. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. I guess there's that. Demo. But he might be planning to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gonta? Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... Q Kokichi! Or that one. Yaka. Here I am! My <laughs> Koma! What are you doing here? Oh, come on, Shuichi! You can figure that one out. He's going to give us the items. Because his cubs are dead. Uh, 
Ba, ba, ba. I've got business with you guys, of course. It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. At least Maki knows what's going on, even if her skill's awful. I shouldn't be judging her on that. I just found me more interesting, and so I'm sad and bitter. I can do. Mm. You're being awfully compliant. Mm -hmm. Of course, I can't refuse Wolf. Not when I'm alone and outnumbered. Oh, oh, the my cubs are dead, so they can't pilot the access halls. Uh, oh shit, bitch! Outnumbered? Mom. Not used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. <laughs> anyway, she has your prize this time. So one of those is the fifth floor door. You get two keys. This one is the last real key. And this one is the real last key. What's the difference? Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. See you later. Bye, Onara! You don't get the right to say that. Even if you were probably helped to be programmed by Anji. So what should we do about this new area? Whose secret labs are we missing? I bet one key would be for Kokichi's lab. And one would be for the fifth floor, right? That's my guess. I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light and we may discover some new facts. So you're saying humans are a low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. But you want to do, Kaito? I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. Alright, our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. All right. Uh, I'll hold on to that. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaito placed the key into my palm. Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Thank you for calling us out. Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. No, 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 that's not a read the mood instant. That's a let's practice some assertive communication here instant. We split up and began our search. Z, 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 Z. Kaito's gonna die. Before we can reconcile. Alright. So is one of these really for Kokichi's robbery? It sure is. Sweet digs. Peeps. Jeez, it looks like Kaito's so upset with you. He used to get over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort out their feelings in just one night. That's true. She's coming together a little bit. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. Mm. I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. I did. But that makes him also likely to be caught in transit. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. I think the motivations are better. Probably the methods are less harmful as well, really. Oi. Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. True. Uh, 
Yeah, so... Yeah. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. It's probably this one, right? No, it's not that one? It's this one? I figured it would be the darker key. It's unlocked. Alright, let's go. The key is still here. Can it be used for something else? I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. on the map looks like the ultimate astronaut's room, actually, but I was sure by the colored door that it would be Kokichi's lab. Phew. Finally reached the top. I feel as if there is something there. It's best to be cautious. Definitely the ultimate astronaut's lab. Is this another ultimate lab? Then it must be... Oh. Finally! Looks like this is my research lab. Kaito? Uh, yeah, those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. So give me a piggyback right? They made us claim all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Oh. What do you mean just? This is the main stage and it's finally been revealed. Nah. I'm tired. Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride. No. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. What do you mean, probably? It's gotta be full of super important stuff. Ah. Hey, hasn't anyone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! I'm not going to give you piggyback ride. Uh, let's go inside then. Well... There's a window. I can see the school in the courtyard. Um, it's pretty high up. And I guess that's obvious from how tall the staircase is. Yeah. Looks like this is the top floor. Yeah. So, my room's at the very top? Yeah, yeah so what? <gasps> they made us climb all those stairs just for a room that looks like a playground. Yeah, it kind of does. I feel like this is a huge waste of time, but let's look around for anything useful. Nah. How about you give me a piggyback ride on the way back down the stairs? She's still saying that. Uh, Kaito still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is gonna be awkward. Well, alright then. It's a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. I have no idea how it would work, but a murder where you had to line up the constellations correctly or something would be probably completely unreasonable, never mind. <laughs> Amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. Mm. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You can operate this. I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but. Oh. Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Oh. Well, I guess it'll all work out. Uh. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. 
wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Are they gonna blast, are they gonna take this entire end wall segment and just blast off from Earth as the only survivors? <laughs> that would be fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Nah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? At that moment. No. Hey, come look at this. Uh? Huh? Something wrong? I found this in the back. Uh? Wait. Are they already off of the earth? Like, I assumed this place was underground, but if there's a fake sky anyway, there's definitely nothing to say that they're not already a spaceship. Can we drive by and pick up Monica? See if she needs a break from her neat life? What is this? A file? Okay. Oh, the Gopher Project stop. Yes. Hold on. Let's see what this says. We will launch a project to, commit to protect humanity from the calamity that falls from space. The ones who will carry out this project are young men and women with exceptional talent. We must send these seeds of hope into space in search of a new land for the sake of humanity. This is a fucking spaceship. Holy shit. Does that mean they didn't do this killing game for the sake of giving themselves a reason to live? I mean, they would have a reason if they were looking to save humanity, you know? Still, Shuichi and Himiko both wanted to die at various points. Rantaro said he wanted the killing game. And Kokichi is Kokichi, so that's like 25% of the group. I think they must have given up despite being sent out. But knowing they couldn't fail their mission, they decided to host a killing game to give themselves the resolve, to give the survivors the resolve. But what I don't get with that is why would they would have the rule that pulls it down to two people? Because honestly, this group has been fairly tight knit and could have had the resolve pretty much since Kyo died. You know, tight knit except for Kokichi. And I guess arguably Irma, but she's just in dead air or something. Um, so shit. Why would they do that? I guess to extenuate the circumstances, or because they were afraid it wouldn't have been enough? Okay, okay, okay. So there's definitely no bugs because we're in space, right? Means the vegetation was fake, and they weren't actually building the school. Huh. I am quite sure that all the students designed their ultimate labs before blasting off. Well, whatever. The Gopher Project? Countries from all over the world work together to create a mirror right defense plan. But none of us. Oh, that wasn't an announcer voice. <laughs> Awkward. But none of us can remember the details of that. So this file has information about the project? So what does it say? Hold on. I'll read it. Let's see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. I guess this is like a virtuous last reward type of situation. But... You know, space apocalypse rather than virus apocalypse. Burdened with this imperative project are the boys and girls of exceptional talent. It bothers me so much that the text they read here is a different translation than the one that's on the file cover. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Boy. Well, what about the rest of it? What's it say? Yeah. Don't tease us. Just say it already. The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. Ah! Well, the cover said further, so, you know, GG, Spike, Chunsoft. Yeah, what did you say? Did Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's just screwing with us. Yeah. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent 
He's referring to us. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? What's this about the new world? This is like Noah's Ark. Everybody get your ships! You gotta repopulate your bags! Holy, you know, y'all died. Wait, but if it was a spaceship, how would that work with getting out of Death Road of Despair? So it can't be, right? They must not have plastic off yet. Huh. Huh, Noah's Ark. Huh? Noah's Ark? Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. What? Fuck is gopher wood. Big news, guys. I looked it up. Gopher wood is a term used once in the Bible for the substance which Noah's Ark was built. That's literally all it is. What? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this? I can bring something up with the right click menu and then just use random voice quotes? I'm just now finding this. I'm looking yeah. for. I'll just leave it in the friendly section. Uh, <sighs> anyway. Um, so yeah, I was asking what gopher wood is, and it's literally just that. It's literally just Noah's Ark wood. But that's pretty clever of them, to be honest, to make it vague. So it could be underground. It could be space. Uh, yeah. What? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Mm. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular... It does seem related. How is all of this where they be Kami? To us? <laughs> None of that makes any sense. It'll be fine if it's flashback light, but you might be able to remember something about it. Um... Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. So, it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it first. You're right. This place is useless to us now. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Because we gotta find that flashback light. A flashback light. Our last hope. But it's something that Marikuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories.